Welcome back to the Matchmaking Podcast, the Dota Podcast, where we look at all the Dota heroes one by one. We go through them all, looking at the abilities, looking at the lore, and looking at a whole lot more. Uh, this week, Dav, Ali, what are we looking Hello. at? Hello. Hello. I like that. Looking at the lore and looking at a whole lot more. It rhymes and everything. <laughs> Did you did you just come up with that on the spot? I think I thought of that last week and I remembered it. It's really good. That is good. Um, so if it rhymes, it, it's it's good, right? I think it's also if it rhymes, it's true. So we'll remember that going forward. If it rhymes, <laughs> yeah. it's true. If it rhymes, it's true. Joe smells of poo. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? What? The, what? Um, <laughs> well, it rhymes, so <laughs> it does rhyme. It does. So it's, so true. it's true. It is true. So um, who's on the agenda then? What's what's our guy this week? This week is Gyrocopter, a ranged carry hero. Meow! Well, That's all also, I know from him. He goes, yeah. Meow! <laughs> and oh, fuck! Mean, what does carry mean? <laughs> what, what does ca- what does carry mean? What does oh, carry mean? Carry me. As a support player, Dab, you don't need to know this. Yeah. <laughs> it's the guy that wins the game after sitting w- AFK. For an hour. Yeah. Gotta have a bad attitude. He's the one that punches the creeps, gets the gold, and then gets big. So Jaira, he's like a little man sat in a rocket, right? Mm. I mean, he's it's kind of like a helicopter gyro... What's a gyro Is it a helicopter? I guess, I guess it's his own invention. It's like a plane. It's, yeah, I would say plane. He's got a moustache. and he's It an is old a man. glorious moustache, though. It's like, great. look how look, long that is. Looks like a pretty chill dude as well, doesn't he? <laughs> in my mind, his nose is a lot bigger than it is on his model. I don't know why. In my, in my mind, it's like twice the size than it is. It's not a small nose. No. To be fair, but maybe it's just the moustache that emphasizes how big the nose is. And is he an elf or something? He's got big old pointy ears and he sits in his... Well, who knows if he sits? He, maybe he's built himself into it. Maybe he's yeah. part machine. And what yeah. I think is the helicopter plane thing is actually his body. <laughs> <laughs> is it like the Thomas? The, have you seen the Thomas the Tank Engine memes of like what? Oh, yeah. like, oh, like, oh, the the body it's in like the... that. <laughs> <laughs> I think like a kid. Didn't a kid draw it? It's just horrible, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> is this is what Thomas uh, yeah. looks like on the inside? <laughs> and oh, it's just Jesus. a body in the tray. <laughs> oh god if you're a teacher marking that and you're like fucking hell <laughs> that would be so funny so so he sat in his rocket right mm. what was his what's his shtick what does he do he's a carry but what does he do is he a carry what? he's also spoiler alert played as support as well bit yeah. of a nuker bit of a disabler he, he's kind of got a he kind of has a nice toolkit. Has a lot of rockets, has a lot of missiles, has a lot a of... Slow, stun. A lot of kind of airborne-based abilities, yeah. I guess. Rock, that rocket for vision as well, that's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. He has a lot mm. of stuff, but where does it all fit within the lore? The lore of Gyrocopter. Dav, I want to learn about Gyrocopter, but I also want to guess as well. How, how many times have you played Gyro? Uh, quite a few. I like playing Jarrah. He's a lot of fun. He is a lot of fun. We um, played it in our A to Z uh, as support, and I think it went late enough where it's great when you when you're a when you're a strong pos four. Mm. Um, late game is great because you just come online, like you can just buy some cool items. Um, but it, it, Ali, are you, are you a gyro enjoyer? I am a gyro enjoyer. I I mm. do like the gyro. I don't cocktails. think anyone dislikes gyro. I think is the thing. Pretty fun. I don't think anyone has a real problem with him. He's not one of those characters where you see him picked and you go, oh, fucking Gyro. Why do they have to pick Gyrocopter? Um, has there ever been a patch like that as yes. well? Where- okay. <laughs> yes, there has been. I mean... <laughs> Wasn't that the most recent patch? Wasn't that like two patches ago? I think it was about two patches ago. It doesn't feel bad, though. Because I think because he's so... It- goofy that it doesn't feel bad like it's not like a phantom assassin going oh i kill you with dagger and you're like oh fuck off or yeah, a sniper going reference. yeah sniper <laughs> gyro is getting in there he's going Meow! he's having a good time you're having a good time even though you're dead i so i think he's fine even if he's op at any point in any matter i think he's chill he hasn't got any abilities that 
that are, are that annoying and he doesn't get big enough late game where you'll get like one shot it it always kind of seems fair well. the missile as well which we'll talk about later is annoying but at the same time it's not that annoying we'll get into the abilities in a bit but should we start with with the law the deep dive on the yeah. law so we we understand what what we're dealing with well, okay well so both gyro and joyous what do you think you know he's a, some old some old oh, guy um, and a, with his legs naked body built into the plane i what, feel he saying? he's a war veteran in my mind he's a war veteran survived the war and uh, he used to, he used to you know fly a plane in whatever war the whatever species gyro is versus the uh, does he have any voice lines where he's racist towards anyone? I don't oh, know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> maybe he's friends okay. with Timbersaw, but he, di- he he had an injury, lost his lower half, and baked himself into this plane thing. That's my guess. He's a war vet that's now half machine. <laughs> <laughs> my guess is that he's Dr. Eggman's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> they look oh identical. Oh my! How have I not seen that before? As, oh my god! I would love. So, if any workshop <laughs> artists are, are listening, please make this happen. Sell it to us, Gabe, and we'll pay. We'll I pay will good money. happily pay. He like, is like a palette swapped Eggman. Uh, Jeez! Imagine. How have I not seen this before? So no, I just noticed it when I went on like a big version of his model. I was like. That reminds me of Dr. Eggman. He's just flying around in a machine, just like him. So Jar is running around the map, collecting animals and turning them into machines. Yeah. We'll be close, Dav. Yeah? Is that what you're going for? That that is what I'm going, is Sonnet is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> into Dota. I don't, mate, that'd be a great... Oh, imagine that. A Sonic hero and he's just really quick. In that red <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I guess it's really quick. <laughs> there yeah. we go, we got the Sonic. Wait, hold up. Yeah, because Eggman's red, Gyro's blue, Bloodseeker's red, but Sonic's blue. Yeah. That's what they've wow. done. Wow. They they actually put Sonic and Dota without us realizing all these years. We we cracked the mystery. Is Don't. Bloodseeker the fastest hero in the game? Gotta be, right? That'll spirit breaker potentially, I think. Oh um, yeah. Um, Either one um of those can only be the second fastest thing in the game though not hero but thing and we'll get onto that later i'm teasing i'm teasing the abilities but <laughs> yes papi um <laughs> the hero with the highest base movement is enchantress hmm. is it Ch- cool. okay uh just base but anyway that's not what we're talking about not uk dr eggman pretty 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 far your description joe's pretty accurate he's a keen what's um, he keen for he, he's just keen. He's Was he, desperate. He's absolutely gagging for everything and anything. Just for everything. With, with <laughs> he's cogs and, and Gyro he's is da- down. He's DTF. He's DTF. He loves Constantly. it. Constantly. <laughs> um, he's, 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 he's first keen. to reply in the group DMs. <laughs> he is keen. Yeah, Jimmy, like, if you, get a, if you get a WhatsApp from him and it's like contains an image, you better mm. open it in private. Because you don't want to be like, you don't want to have like a family member next to you as you open your phone and it's just... A dick pic. That's <laughs> what I'm going for. <laughs> Would you uh, send a dick pic? Oh, yeah. Because, um, well, his dick's all his out because he's naked. He's built into the plane, right? Yeah, yeah. But his dick is actually the propeller. <laughs> well, wrong. <laughs> he's, so he's part of the keen folk. The little guys. So Clockwork, Tinker, Sniper, Gyro, Techies, Timber, Alk, Snapfire, um... All, all the all the keen folk, the little guys. So basically, the like little the guys gnomes. with the big noses and the long ears. Mm-hmm. Mm. The gnomes from Warcraft. Yeah, because Tim, because because he was in Gyro was in Warcraft three. Pretty similar hero actually, um, and he he's like a big old commander fought in the war, like you said, Joe. So that's pretty. Oh pretty my god! Fun. It says a lifetime of wars, upheavals, riots, and revolutions. And the keen folk, they're always fighting. Have you noticed that? But what, such what little... are they fighting? And what, why? What and why? why? What and why are they fighting? They're, they're just, just, they're just fight, keen like... for, for war. They're, ke- they're, <laughs> they're keen hugging. for war. <laughs> uh, they, yeah, they, so, so he was like the general and he's like got all these medals and stuff. And then um, he retired. He was like, I've had enough of fighting. I want to live a chilled life. So he retired to like the tropical islands of Ash Archipelago. Of Green Hill Zone. He retired to the tropical lands of Green Hill Zone. 
Where the fuck's that, Green Hill? Is that it? is a good zone. It's where Sonic lives. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Green Hill zone. Um, what was the city co- called? Now you got me on a... <laughs> I'm just was it thinking just Metropolis? Of the city Sonic. That's it. Yes. Ash Archipelago <laughs> is what it's called. But there's no pictures. I'm just, yeah, I'm just seeing Nat it's Geo. It's a chain of islands located in the tropics. Okay. That's fun. Like, full of old keen folk. He reminds me a little bit. So, yeah, basically, when he retired, he had the schematics for this cool plane. Um, the world's first manned non-magical flying device. So, man's non-magical flying device. Which is weird, because they're, like, inventors and stuff. You've got, like, timber saw and stuff. He's the first person to invent the helicopter. But I guess without magic. Helicopter. I guess they've been reliant on magic for all their flying devices in, in the past. Mm. Sorry, plane. It's an old school plane. It's an old school plane in the Bahamas. And basically, <laughs> old chilled guy. Have you seen Porco Rosso before? The, the Ghibli? Yeah. Or Ghibli, whatever you call it. Kind of similar to that. Similar vibe. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, because this lore is pretty not that interesting. Anyway, he <laughs> finally built it, and then he flew it, and then a cannonball came out of nowhere and hit him. And after that, he was like, I'm going to build another one, but I'm more This time capable. with my own cannons. <laughs> Carrying a much heavier, more dangerous payload. And I'm not see- talking about my cock. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's that. Right, they're involved <laughs> on uh, on Dota Wiki. I'm gonna build another rocket, holding a much meatier and heftier payload, and I'm not talking about my cock. <laughs> just really good. Impression. Sorry, I just <laughs> thought I just played a voice line from the website. I don't, I don't know how it that was. It wouldn't in there, surprise so. me if that was a voice line. I feel like his voice lines are just so. Some of the voice lines in Dota are out there. Yeah. And pretty... Like, I'm surprised they swear in Dota, to be honest. Do they swear in Dota? They yeah. say shitty wizard all the time. Uh, uh, bullshit as well. Uh, Magna, yeah, of... Magnus says Isn't bullshit. that the mag? Like... Magnus says bullshit as one of his... Yeah, that's lines. one of the voice lines you can just spam. You can spam this is bullshit or something. <laughs> I think that's... I think shit is okay. At least they're not saying the F word or the C word. Do they say... I don't think they say the F word. I don't know. Um, well, I've actually got... <laughs> I reckon for- Jairo would use some slurs. He, oh, he, yeah. <laughs> he's definitely the kind of old man that's out of touch. Oh, yeah. I mean, if yeah. you're retired to the Bahamas, you, you've you lost touch of reality, right? <laughs> You're just chilling there, tinkering your plane. I do, he's blaming that cannonball on someone. Mm, the young some kind of the Some young, kind of group. These young keen, they, they don't understand the, the generation's <laughs> past trauma. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they don't know how he, good they've got it with their TikToks. <laughs> do you reckon Keen have got TikTok? Oh, keen definitely know. have. Uh, but it's some weird mechanical TikTok, so it's called Click Clock or something. I don't know. I, rec- I reckon they're only... Ch- I think they're a bit behind. I think they're only on, like, Vine. Right, my, my my space. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, he was in the OG Warcraft. I've got some good. I've got some big news about his voice actor. I won't get. To oh, that. I forgot. Oh. I honestly forgot this was a section. <laughs> yes, yeah, the voice actor. To be honest, mate, that's it. That's, that's the it. best. That's the, best the law. law. Is the voice actor? Yeah. I, there's nothing else I could find on Reddit anywhere. He's an old short guy. Who built a play? His lore is terrible. It's, it's so bad. As like all, so much of the Dota lore is bad, but this one's particularly bad. Um. Anyway, Doctor Eggman mixed with Porco Rosso. Yeah. Hell Bit yeah. of a perv. Um. Now for the voice actor segment. Yeah. He is voiced by the same voice actor who does Brewmaster, Earth Spirit, Cottle, Lone Druid, Lycan, Meepo. Oh my god. Ogre. <laughs> um, Shadow Demon and Troll, huge plethora. Um, yeah, but also on, and his name is Nolan North. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> good. It's Nolan North, the ooh, man ooh. that lapped up all of video game voice acting for a good few, a few years. He's in uh, everything. Uh, he's Nathan Drake in Uncharted. He's everyone. He's, he's everyone. in Assassin's Creed, COD, Deadpool, <laughs> Team Fortress. He's m- Merasmus and Team TF2. Who's Merasmus? I have no idea. I didn't play TF2, to be honest. They played Tom Hanks in Rick and Morty. You know, he play, he's played everyone. He played he played Tom Hanks in Rick and Morty. Damn. The uh, magician. Uh, anyway, 
played loads of people. Saint Row, Tony Stark in Marvel's Avengers, I guess the, the game. Yeah. No, but North. he was so- Terrence in the Angry Birds movie too. That's Literally, the big one. Shit. He's in so many things. Tarzan. He's in the Grim Adventures <laughs> of Billy and Mandy. Yeah, I loved that program. Oh my god, what a throwback. He's Scroopy Noopers in Rick and Morty as well. <laughs> Scroopy Noopers. <laughs> Who is Scroopy Noopers uh, again? The, uh, the one that went, hey, I'm Scroopy, I'm Noopin here. Um, <laughs> Who the Scroopy Scroopy Doopy Doop Doop. Oh, Isn't it- yeah, when they go to Pluto. Yes, that's it. Uh, Thank the you. One. What an episode. Well, well, you know, next time you listen to Gyrocopter, you're also listening to all of the people that we just mentioned. Uh, yeah. And that, that's it. That's it's a kind best. of underwhelming. I mean, Nolan North. I, I think mo- if you've played a video game, you've heard Nolan North. Yeah. I think oh, everyone's God, yeah. kind of, everyone knows him. He's he's a big guy. He's a big name. Pretty pretty cool. So that's it. So That's old it. old man retired to the Bahamas, gyro copter man. What a fun guy! What a fun, fun guy! Fun guy. I mean, his law may be underwhelming, but I tell you, his abilities are pretty fun. Regardless of how yeah. how boring it is that he just built built a thing and got hit by a cannonball and went, oh, okay, I'm gonna build a build a bit bigger, better rocket. He's fun to play. So shall we do a little look at all the abilities one by one? Let's yeah. do it. Ability number one, number Q. Number Q. Number, Number Q. Q. Rocket Barrage. What happens if people are using legacy keys, Joe? Go oh, Q. God, I don't know. I don't know the legacy <laughs> keys for Gyrocopter. <laughs> Mouse button three. Uh, Mouse button <laughs> Z while also tapping P is Rocket Barrage. <laughs> so this is a little short AOE rocket spell. It's kind of, in my mind, he's like set off like one of those boxes of fireworks you get from Asda. And they just start going off in a small area around him, just kind of popping lads. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure if that's at all what it. In my mind, that's what it is. Well, that's what happened outside my house. People were just shooting rockets into shops. And it's stuff. what I did. God. Like <laughs> when I got a thing of rockets, I just went around. <laughs> I swear to God, people were shooting, aiming, lighting rockets, and firing them into shops. People do that nowadays. <laughs> they think they saw like one tick. The internet has ruined people. I mean, they've made. Chavs have more fun, I think is more what I mean. Mm. Ooh, I don't think, can you say Chavs anymore? I think it's- well, I can and I will. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. there was one, wasn't it called like cheesing, where people would put like cheese on someone's front door? Or something like beansing, they'd like put beans through someone's <laughs> oh, letter. God. It was something like that that was on TikTok. Which well, some was some weird form of egging that's just like well, egging that, with extra steps. Isn't that a lot better than what they used to do, which was dog poo? So yeah. oh, I would yeah. say I would rather have beans. Food. I'd rather beans than dog shit. Yeah. 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 I think like, we can all agree on that. So anyway, first ability, Rocket Barrage, Jari starts throwing dog shit everywhere. <laughs> um, and he throws this dog shit out in like a small AoE around him. And so he's th- he's he's throwing out ten bags of shit. Ten bags of shit every second for three seconds. That's a lot of shit. That is. That's a lot. It's a lot of shit. He's storing right. all of that yeah. shit in in the. Well, if you picture it like the Thomas, what well, he's he's rigged up in there, you know. Yeah, he's, <laughs> rigged, he's built in there. He's built into this gyrocopter yeah. helicopter machine, so it funnels all his shit into the machinery around him, <laughs> then sprays it out um, into heat-seeking <laughs> shit rockets. Yeah. That's that's there. This is all here. Yeah, on the this is all canon. Anything said in this podcast <laughs> is canon. Fact. Uh, absolute. We need to think of a rhyme. Um, it's packed into shit, and it cannot be uh, missed. That's oh, a half that rhyme for rhyme. you. That doesn't it's, rhyme. It's a half rhyme, so maybe it's half true. It's uh, only half true. Yeah. Um, so anyway, he's shooting out these homing rockets in an AOE around him. Um, mm. And it's not like any other kind of AOE spell where it kind of hits everyone. It sort of homes in on one target. So if there's two lads in front of him, they'll share the load. I could have phrased that better. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you phrased that Take absolutely perfectly. Because it's load. true. They do share. They do share, they the share load. because they care. So that, yeah, the rockets do damage um, up to 1,200 damage. Um, <laughs> which goes to one target at a time. So is it just one lad? It's 1,200 damage to that one lad. If it's two lads, it'll split kind of between them, um, which, which is fun. So it's a, it's a little bit of rattle-tattle damage, mm. um, but it also gives Gyro slow resistance while he's shitting. Um, 
Because it's slippery, isn't it? Yeah, he's he's slipping around <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> he can't be slowed down. Uh, so has has up to fifty percent slow resist while while shitting out his Asda rockets. Uh, try and imagine that though. You try and slow someone when there's shit all over the floor. That's yeah, true, that, I feel true. like you kind of be imp- if you were shitting like intentionally shitting while in battle. I think I would be less slow because, like, you're, you're losing weight, uh, so therefore you're moving relatively quicker. He does mm. also have a talent that speeds him up while he's using rocket barrage, so oh. can't be slowed and moves quicker. Makes sense. So Got to be speedy shit. boy. So r- shitty rocket barrage. Yeah. Uh, kind of a fun chase down spell, basically. Good spell. Good spell. Good. good Do you have uh, to be close to use the rockets? Yeah, real close. Real. It's a really short short range as far as you could drop a shit is the range <laughs> is you've essentially got to be touching tips to receive the load from gyro ah yeah yeah good for farming good for damage it's okay just it's pretty good, okay right? for farming it's not the best he's, he's got better ability for farming we'll get onto them later uh, but i think his main use is like chase down of like a single lad in mm. my in what i've seen it for i get also farming but yeah, and the, the cooldown's not too long. It's only five seconds, 5.5 seconds-ish at max level. So, you know, it's relatively cheap. It's, it's good spamming. Yeah, it's all right. A little bit of damage. Any questions? Any questions from the classroom? Uh, or did I, did I touch it all? Did I cover all bases? I, I think, think you it. shit all over it, mate. Good. Perfect. <laughs> I, think, I think it was good. We're all, we're all on board with Rocket Mirage. His second ability, number Q, no, number W. Remember yep. <laughs> number W. Number I, I, Q I, I, know, I know, I know my numbers on the keyboard. <laughs> number W is homing missile or homing missile if you're American, uh, which is a, a point target spell. I appreciate so, that. Hang on a minute. I would have thought missile would be America and missile would be UK. Why? Don't know. Miss. I'd say missile. Yeah, because UK. Missile. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Because yeah, yeah. the great nation missile. which I am missile. proud to be from. I can't imagine him saying missile. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. shoot, missile. Or shoot, on over shoot the missile. missile. Yeah, okay. Good missile normal. sounds like some sort of, like, disease or a rash. A missile. <laughs> I've got, I've got, oh, uh, yeah, I've got missiles, yeah. I got missiles. <laughs> measles. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. It sounds like measles. That's why. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like some sort of pussy spot. Hey, I've just called in to say um, I've got uh, missiles. So, so you should probably get yourself get your checked. <laughs> checked out. I uh, hope you're all right. See you. Bye. Now do it again, but in the voice of Gyrocopter. <laughs> hey, I'm calling to say I've got missiles. <laughs> I, you know, Joe, your, your gyro impression's better. I've, got, I've better. got missiles. You better get yourself checked. <laughs> is that missile yeah. does he say yeah it sounds right when he says missiles he yeah. wouldn't say missiles no he'll say missiles yeah missiles so gyro is american missile i mean it's voiced by no north and so no north is american so there we go there's the law yeah. real mm-hmm. real law so point target spell um you plop out a fat missile missile on the ground it sits there for a couple seconds gets warmed up and then it starts homing in on the lad and it goes It'll chase them forever and ever, forever and ever. Even if they go invisible, out of sight, it's going to chase them down. And then it goes, bonk, hits them. And it stuns them, does a bit of damage. I got two words. Yeah. Yule's Scepter. (laughs) Yep. Bam. Yep. Done. Next. Yep. Or, you know, quite annoying. Just click it three times. Yeah. Bam. Let a tower hit it six times. Bam. It's destroyed. So, yeah, it will chase you forever. It hit it six times. The tower has to hit it six times. Mm. Like a courier. It's like a courier. Uh, it's essentially yeah. it's like a courier. It's got pretty massive range, right? Yeah, it's relatively big range. It takes a little while to get going, and then it just it will just chase you forever until either it's destroyed or it hits, basically. It's, it's not like it's a panic, but it's like PA blinks in, on you. No, you can't you can't like do a quick stun with it. It's like it's literally got a two point five second launch delay. So after God. you click a lad, <laughs> it's gonna sit on the ground for two and a half seconds, then start chasing. It's well, it is a missile. Yeah. yeah. Like, what's the back? What's the back swing like on it? it <laughs> that is. I mean, the there's no cast swing. animation on uh, like uh, any uh, of his spells. There's no cast animation. Uh, let me just check. Am I checking shit? Is there? Well, he's just. 
It's because he's got a launch the missile. Think about when they launch a missile in real life. It's a bit better. Yeah. It, to be fair, he's doing it pretty fast. 2.5 seconds is pretty good. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah. That's not Especially bad. for an old man. He's got shaky hands. Yeah. And he's covered in In a, in shit. In a plane as well, whilst he's flying. While yeah. he's flying. While he's flying and pooping and setting the missiles going, <laughs> it's not a bad delay. It's all fair. right. So, but... It, it's it's a good it's good to do it like the start of a fight. Though, yeah, it's it? kind of as you're about to mm. run in. So you kind of hit pop the missile, 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 you pop it down, and as it's going in, you'll you sort of start running in with your, your rocket barrage and you start chasing a lad down. Uh, and that's kind of the play with him. But let's talk let's talk a little bit about this missile. Because it moves at five hundred move speed, right? Okay. At the start. All right. But this move speed increases by fifteen every second. <laughs> Oh. So after after two seconds of travel time, it's already double the speed of a CM. Double. <laughs> and there's no there's no limit to how fast this thing can go. So earlier when I said whatever hero you're gonna say, it's not the fastest thing in the game. Because the homing missile has infinite <laughs> move speed. It just needs to warm up a little bit. I love how you go as um like five CMs per hour. <laughs> five CMs <laughs> per hour. <laughs> I wonder it. what the longest a uh, gyro rocket has been like yeah. you put put it on like um spirit breaker he and... charges across the map then he yeah. charges i mean we could we could think about this I how many like times it... can you go between warp gates before it hits you yeah like it's, how long it's, until the move really speed fun. is quicker would... than the channel time of warp gate I would guess 2 or 3 i kind of want to try cuz it this. takes quite a while <laughs> it takes like I will three really seconds. Wanna, I really want to try this. I, 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 I as a spirit breaker, and you just keep going from the warp gate. You can TP. Yeah, you can charge. Your know, nature's profit with the t- talent where you have global TP with no cooldown. Yeah. Oh god! Just, yeah, and then just the homing can, missiles. <laughs> how quick can this missile go? We have to do this. We have to go in a bot game. And I mean, that. if you're trying to catch a really quick hedgehog, you do need a missile that can go yeah. infinite. Moves. True. So, you know, Dr. Eggman true. is doing it. Um, but yeah, so also gives a little bit of flying vision um, around nice. the lad that it's, well, just no, around itself, sorry, not around the lad, around itself. But yeah, and you ready for the fun fact section of this ability? Yeah. Fun That's fact cool. you can use four staff on it <laughs> to bunt it forward, you, and Hurricane Pike as well to bunt it forward. You can use Psychic Headband on it, and it pushes it. <laughs> But if you use force boots, the neutral item force boots, it destroys it. What? Yeah. I think, I, think, I just program. think they forgot to code it properly. I think that's all that is. I think they just forgot that, oh, yeah, we've added this new item. How does it need to interact with this one ability? I think they just forgot. <laughs> I never get force boots. Oh, I do. I love force boots. It's situational. It depends I'm, on the guy. I'm a force boot enjoyer now because it does a dispel as well. Just fun fact. Mm. Mm. To be honest, because it's, it's, it's tier five, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, at that point of the game, you're not worried about Gyro's rocket, aren't you? That's going to be the last of your concerns. <laughs> yeah, got to get my force boots so I can destroy the rocket. For God, the, when that I, rocket do, I don't want to get hit by that 2.5 second stun. Mm. Oh, what's no. It, what's it do? What does force do? Is it just a four star? It's just a four star baked into boots, that tier five item. That's all it is. It's pretty cool. I'm much for a giant ring. Oh, I prefer pirate hat. I'm a unwavering condition enjoyer myself. Oh, what's the unwavering condition? Oh, <laughs> is that the one? That I think it's called unwavering. The new one that gives is you ninety five or ninety nine percent magic resist. Ninety five percent magic resist. Yeah, ninety five percent magic resist. Anyway. See, if when my mum, I'll tell my mum that we're doing a podcast and she'll want to listen to it, and I'll say, "Mum, you won't get it." And she's like, "I don't care. I want to listen to it anyway." Yeah. At this point, she'll be turning it off. <laughs> oh yeah. I've like I've, I've she was she was loving the section about flinging shit. <laughs> she was loving that. She was laughing. Oh. She was like, I remember when I used to do that as a kid. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, talking about tier five items. Yeah. <laughs> so you're calling your mum a tier five item? Is that sorry? Is that <laughs> is what that what it was? was that, that, that's what. Speaking of tier five items, what I'm confused. What was the segue there? I don't know. Just the, look at us talking about talking about tier five neutral items. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. You lost both me and Ali, so yeah. I, I felt we needed <laughs> yeah. an explanation of the segue. Is all you know. It's, I thought you were setting us up to move on to a point. 
Yeah. My mum will get it. Okay. If my mum your mom, was your mum a tier, and she does if my get mum it. if my mum was a neutral item, she'd be a um she'd be a trusty shovel. Yeah. Bless her. Only tier one. One step away from being in a hoe. Yep. <laughs> 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 That's good. So anyway, um, gyrocopter, eh? Yeah. Before we move on to his next abilities, I want to talk about his shard because his shard kind of combines his first two abilities in a in a in a fun way. So the shard upgrades his missile, 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 and gives it rocket barrage for its whole duration. Oh yeah. So the whole time it's zoning in and all that, it's shooting out rocket barrage. So any lad, it passes by, it's shooting rockets. Uh, until it goes bonk, and then then it stops. So is that a must? Is that a must buy ever? It's never a must buy, but it it, it does make the rockets a bit more annoying. It makes the rocket pr- seem pretty good. Yeah, I think it adds a whole lot of damage on the rocket. Do you, do you ever buy it? Would you ever go out your way to buy it? It feels like a late game tormentor. It depends like which way you play gyro. Go. You, you can't. You can't blue balls. So you can't just leave it on that support or carry. Oh. Which Ooh. we'll get into later on. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Stay tuned, folks. We're, we're laying out so many hooks in this episode to keep people listening. This yeah, got to keep the retention going. <laughs> <Otherwise>. and then, <laughs> yeah. In the last 10 seconds, Joe's going to fart in the microphone. <laughs> God, I better start like eating air. <laughs> <laughs> the audio is going to be really guff for the next however long we go for, but... It's going to be worth the payoff. (laughs) (laughs) I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Okay. So, yeah, that that was the shard. Adds adds rocket barrage to to the missile. I think it's pretty fun. I think it's pretty annoying. Um, Does a lot of damage. Does a lot of damage. Does a fair fair chunk of damage. And it's relative to the level of the barrage you have leveled up. So... The higher your rocket barrage level, the more damage it does. So it doesn't matter what level your missile is. It's dependent on the rocket barrage level of the damage, uh, which is fun. Anyway, mm. speaking of fun, his next ability is not fun if you're on the enemy team or if you're a creep in a big old stack. Flak cannon. Um, I guess he thought of this idea after getting hit by a cannon because this has cannon in the name. Right, Dav? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the newly revamped gyrocopter has attached enough armaments to assault in a 360 degree radius. Quite impressive, actually. That's that actually quite impressive. That is. Yeah. How far can one person see? What, like, what's the limit of your peripheral, really? A peripheral? I don't like, know. Maybe it's like 180-ish. Maybe a bit, bit 190. One- Definitely not 190. No. I was can gonna you not say see 190? N- n- I don't know. I don't no, know. I would say like 175. Less I don't think I can that. see 180. Maybe I've got weird bug eyes. <laughs> if I hold my hands yeah. out to the sides of me, I can see both of them. Just about. Yeah. Ish. I'm doing it. and I- I'm hoping everyone listening is also holding their arms yeah. out and waving well, yeah, their yeah, jazz so. hands about. Everyone's doing this, right? And measuring the... Okay, maybe, okay, maybe I am optimistic with I think, 180. I think- I think you're right. No, it says here I think peripheral I, vision is everything outside your center and normally covers about 180 degrees of ish. field. Oh, wow. Ish. 180-ish. But this other thing on WordPress says 120 degrees. And we must, your arms we must trust that WordPress okay. website. <laughs> <laughs> you can Google anything and you can find something that will have the answer that you want Someone's it to have. Someone's written something somewhere that agrees with you. Yeah. And you just show the person, see, I was right. Okay, if you put your arms out straight, straight out, okay? Yeah, I'm okay, a Where can you see? I can see? I can see my thumbs on both ends if, they're, if I'm T-posing. I can you? I can't. I no, can, I can't. I'm like 179. I can't. I can nearly, but no. I, if I'm looking straight dead ahead, I can't quite see my thumb. I, feel, I know that I feel there. we need to start like recording like supplemental like videos alongside <laughs> these podcasts because we need to like how fast can we get the missile going, and then we need to do a live action. How far can we see? Like how many fingers are we holding up and test each other's peripheral vision? I like think, myth, Mythbusters. Like Mythbusters, but for weird things we talk about during these recordings. Mm. Will, can you slow someone down when they're covered in shit? <laughs> does, does shitting while running make you one, quicker? <laughs> We're going to egg Ali while he runs 100 metres. <laughs> Let's see whether he runs quicker 
or slower <laughs> while shitting as we egg him. <laughs> what we have read, what we have learned though, is that Joe's got extremely good peripheral vision. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I'm chatting shit, or maybe it's all in my mind. What if it's I'm just like imagining my hands? Joe's like, wait, can you not see behind you? Like, I can see my own ass. Right? <laughs> anyway, flat cannon. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Number E. <laughs> yeah. Number E on the keyboard is another AoE spell, but it's not a spell. It's an instant attack. It's half a spell, but the damage isn't magical. It's an instant attack. So what this does, when you activate it, it means your right clicks hit mm. every enemy around you in a big old AoE. The AoE is like, kind of like the size of your screen. It's massive. It's massive. Um, so yeah, just Does every attack you do it hits everyone. Does the damage broken. get spread out? Like, is it the more the people that are around, the less damage it'll do? Or is it just no, 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 no. It's just for for seven attacks, it'll hit everyone, um, and this the buff only will last twelve seconds as well. So you can't like activate it and then wait and activate it like two times in a row to get like fourteen hits consecutively. It's mm. twelve seconds or seven attacks. And then it has a cooldown of about 20 seconds. Um, not bad, really. It's really, really yeah. good for farming, really good for team fights. And it's um, kind of like Medusa. Yeah, it's kind of like Medusa Split Shot, yeah. but doesn't do reduced damage. However, it doesn't use attack modifiers on the flat cannon attacks. And things like things like crits don't proc on the flat cannons either. Ah, so okay. it's kind of just your b raw base it's damage is sent out on the flat cannons. Yeah, it's what is it? It's the plus damage as well, as well as base, isn't it? Yeah, there's also a talent that you can get which gives you your, your flat cannons a bonus twenty five damage, which, no, which it's helps. Not, not, it's not fine, yeah. it's not massive, but it's not nothing because it it's is right. everything on your screen that you're attacking. So yeah, yeah, true. That's a, that's a point. Um, the but it's physical damage, right? So like a pavis, yeah, pavis will or pavis. just get some armor. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't test this with um, Revenant's approach, but I don't think it works with Revenant's approach. It wouldn't work with Revenant's. No, because it it, that counts as an attack modifier. It's an modifier. attack modifier, of course. Uh, so it would work on his normal auto attack. Got to be one of the best farmers, right? Yeah. Late game. Yes. yes. Like That's... he can take a stack of any size with this ability, yeah. basically, because it's just seven attacks to everything. Yeah, That's pretty. Awesome. And it's up. It goes up to ten attacks as well with talents. So. Kind of nuts. Just hit forever. Hit forever and just kill everything. Yep. But yeah, I guess that kind of brings us on to his Ag Scepter because the Ag Scepter is an upgrade of Flat Cannon. It's, it's weird that it's it's attached to Flat Cannon. It doesn't really upgrade Flat Cannon itself. I think it I think it does. It, ties, it ties to it, but mm. it's kind of separate because it works as a passive. So you don't have to activate Flat Cannon for this to work No, all the time. So it works as a passive. You get a new ability called Side Gunner is a passive. And there's no animation for this. The way it's called Side Gunner, I always <laughs> imagined when it first was released, I thought, oh man, they're going to give Gyro a little animated mini Gyro that's attached like one of those old school motorbike side carts. <laughs> like, it, like in Wallace <laughs> and Gromit. Like yeah. where Gromit sat. Uh, that's how I imagined it, but it would be like a little Gyro man on like a little turret. Mm. But there's none of this animation. There's no new model. It's just... Another auto attack that Gyro sends off for free every 1.3 seconds. He just sends out another auto attack. To a random enemy. To an enemy that's furthest from him, but still within the attack range. Mm. That's pretty cool. That's pretty. That's a, that's a pretty cool way of doing it. Yeah, it's not. I, yeah. It's not terrible. It's pretty. It's pretty all right. It's good for farming. And when you activate flat cannon, it attacks two units instead of one. So every one five seconds. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. So it's like, do you keep your flat cannon active and not use your last hit so your side gunner has more attacks? No, that's a stupid. Cool, cooldown is so low anyway. It's always it's yeah. pretty much permanently up. Yeah, but yeah, unlike flat cannon though, this ag side gunner attack does use attack modifiers. So there's Ooh. crits, maelstroms, desolators. Those all work. Ravenant's brooch, I'm guessing, Revenant's will work as well. Probably will work. Um, That'd be interesting. But it so I'm guessing you don't want to. You don't want to build attack speed. You just want stats and damage, then, right? Um. Well, kind of. Yeah. In a weird way, because the axe does. You can't increase the attack speed of the axe. No. But you kind of want to build attack speed for the flat cannon just to kind of burst lads down. 
in the same way that you want attacks to be done on anyone. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. But I think he does benefit more from crits than maybe other people do because of the axe. Kind of. Uh, what do you think? Is that, do, you, do you tend to buy axe? Sounds pretty cool. But again, it doesn't sound like game changing. I think it's good for farming. Yes. It, it's an amazing farming item and fighting item. But is it going to be better than other farming items? Well, it just gives you free auto attacks. So I would say yes in what's his, some ways. What's like gyro's standard attack interval base? Uh, uh, bu- 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 attack speed. 1.7. 1.7. So, so it kind so of, it shot kind of, it's kind of double seven. damage, level one. If you got it from a level one gyro with no attack speed things, it changes. Yeah. It's kind of like having double damage permanently. If you're getting ags level one, I'm reporting you. Just putting that out there. <laughs> if you're getting ags level one, I'm, I'll be I'm like, impressed. how did if you, you get that? that with nothing yeah. else? Go ahead. You're getting good. reported. If and you like, that came- without getting any levels, now that's impressive. <laughs> what's up? What's our brem? What's the patch now? What's the patch number? Thirty-five, isn't it? Seven point three five B. Seven point three five B. And so, and yeah, if As you're buying ags, if you're getting ags level one, you're getting a lump of coal. And we're at that patch <laughs> where everyone got a lump of coal. If you listen to this, like a hundred years in the future, it's the one where everyone got coal, but not us because oh, we're well, good boys. Really, mate, I got perfect behaviour score. I don't understand how someone could not have a perfect behaviour score. And mm. like, I I'm sometimes like not toxic, but I'm vocal about my frustrations <laughs> in game. <laughs> Vocal about my frustrations, <laughs> but that's the key for you, Dav. Is that you're you're vocal not to your teammates. You're yeah. vocal to other people, which is oh, also man. similar to me. Is I'll be very vocal about. Yeah, it's, but like, it's I just like when never when say we play in the evenings. If we had to play yeah. with randoms, I, I like I played a couple of solo games recently as well while everyone was away, and I was flaming everyone on my team constantly. Not in game though, just just to myself yeah. slash to stream, but not not to them publicly. And I think that's why we have good behavior scores. We don't voice it in game. I do. No, I do. Oh, I okay. say what you're doing. You're shit. Why do you do that? <laughs> why, why are you built? No, but it's like pause five. And they five, realize like, you're talking the truth. That's so. You get like an AA pause five. The rushes ads <laughs> doesn't even get boots, and it's like fucking what are you doing? Yeah, and he says. I'm Dav. (laughs) (laughs) MFFU dog. Before we get on to his last ability, fun facts about the Ags. It doesn't attack couriers, can't attack wards, and it can't attack buildings. And also, when you're smoked, it doesn't it doesn't proc. So it doesn't break. It can't attack buildings. Nope. I thought it would have attacked buildings. Oh no. Edit, edit. It does it does target buildings. I, w- I was going to say. Why have they definitely... listed this? I'm going through the fucking wikis, and it says it doesn't attack this, this, and this. But and then does. buildings is also listed. <laughs> but does attack buildings? Why fucking list it if it does attack <laughs> it? Why list it in the things of things it doesn't attack if it does attack it? Oh, I was like, it's okay. I'm pretty sure I pushed should, with put that. This as does <laughs> does not target wards, couriers, or attack immune enemies, but does attack buildings, enemies. Creeps, neutrals, like sh- <laughs> shut the fuck up. Why mention the things? Wikis. Who writes these wikis? I can only I only have so much time to test things in game myself. I rely on these wikis and I rely on my shit reading. So anyway, yeah, Gyro's Ags does attack buildings. But those the wikis are like they're like community filled. Yeah, right? and sometimes they've been wrong in the past, and I have corrected them. I've checked. <laughs> and I've double checked. And you've so correct, I've corrected them for these read. podcasts. <laughs> You have from this podcast. From the, for the podcast, I've corrected things that are wrong in the wiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Joe, I think you should. I think you should escalate this. Yeah. To the wiki with the wiki people. I'm taking it to the wiki. Maybe I should just make an account and start making adjustments of things. I, make, I should probably just do that. Make your own mm. wiki. Start my own wiki with um. Yeah. Shit bags and eggs. <laughs> to, to, to fandom dot Joe. Yep. So those are all his abilities, apart from his ultimate and his ultimate. Cooldown. I think it's one of the fun abilities of Dota. I like a big old ult. And this is a a fun visual ult that has a low cooldown. It's only a 30 second cooldown. So it's not not that long. And it's fun. You know, it's a big AoE on screen. So he he basically calls in an airstrike. So you point target the ground and you do a little vector target in a line. And it calls down three airstrikes on this line. 
and so it goes. So I'm just sucking in more air for the finale. <laughs> um, Wait, is it three airstrikes? I thought it was two. Three. Dota 2 is a game of three lanes. Two lanes. Yep. Um, <laughs> so each explosion is like 500 AoE-ish. No, 400, 400, 500 ish Between 400 and 500 AoE, I can't remember. Um, mm. And does... Chonky. <laughs> Book. And does 550 damage per hit. And also does a slow, a 50% slow for four seconds. So That's pretty good. You know, you can you can do a bit of damage with it. I mean five five fifty damage in an explosion isn't much and a fifty percent. For context, I always compare anything that slows, I compare to Venomance's Gale. <laughs> so You can't do that. Yes, I can. Okay, cooldown. <laughs> Gyrocopter's ultimate. <laughs> Does 500 damage and a 50% slow for four seconds. Venomance's first ability does 650 damage and slows for 15 seconds. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Gyrocopter is always kind of bad. Uh, <laughs> although if you land multiple of them, it's, you know, if you land all three, it's doing 16,050 damage. Um, That's a lot. 16,000? No, 1,650 damage. <laughs> 16,000 is a lot of damage. That would be 1,650 damage. Uh, I'm so good at reading today. But yeah, you're not really going to land all three. But hey, it's a big AoE as well, to be fair. So you're hitting a lot of lads with it. But I still don't think it's that great. Also, for context, a level 30 gyro with no items will do 1,700 damage in AoE just with flat cannon. <laughs> so if you somehow land all your alt explosions, it's still less damage than flat cannon. Oh god! Which is but it's fun. <laughs> but it's, and it's fun. And, it's, yeah, and the, fun. The, the range the range on it is huge. Yeah. So yeah, and the slow stack right? No, it just refreshes the slow. Doesn't stack. Oh okay. No, it just yeah, it just That's refreshes. Fine, Debuff refreshes. Uh, not. Okay. I want to play Vano now. Do you know normally I want to play the hero, but I just want to play Vano. Man. You just heard. You just heard Gale, and you're like, yeah, that sounds like an OP ability. And you're right. Fifty percent slow level one. Crazy. Um. <laughs> so yeah, that's Venomant. I mean, that's Gyrocopter. <laughs> that's all the abilities. In my mind, he's he's just a he's a flat cannon man. But I might be wrong. He is. Is he? Is that is that true? Is that how we're meant? Well, to how are we meant to play Gyro Alley? What are we meant to do? What are we meant to do? What are well, we meant to level up? If you were about a patch ago, he was all flat cannon man and very fun right clicking. You would get your what Dragon Lance, BKB, Butterfly, Satanic with your Ags, a Daedalus, and you would just Ooh. go to town on everyone around because you farm so fast that you just absolutely destroy everything you, you can just as you, fast as, you, as your supports can stack exactly if your supports are good and they make loads of stacks for you you take them so fast and you could probably still do it to a certain extent it may not be as good as in last patch but i think it's still pretty good um that's okay doing that bit. lesson well learned lesson well learned if there's a gyro in the game stack 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 yeah, I think that's also a thing I feel is an issue with a lot of support players is knowing when to stack. I quite often queue with people when they, they play support and they make stacks, mm. but there's no one on the team that can take the stacks. Like, I've made stacks for the Slark, and the Slark's like, I can't take stacks, I'm Slark. I'm going yeah. to die to the stacks. Yes, I think that is a... There's, big... there's so many times where it's just like, oh, I made I made stacks. You go, no one can do them. Oh, and now the enemy team's come in and done them. Yeah, and, I, and then lack the not only that, it. it just means that you can't, you can't, you can't farm that area. Yeah, yeah, because it's yeah, too it's big. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is annoying when there's like a four stack of ancients, and it's like, uh, like thanks, yeah. but like we we need to do it like as a five. We only thanks, need to stack but you up. Really, it's like you really shouldn't have. It's like a tormentor. <laughs> yeah, because that's why pros like love gyro is because pros remember take, to stack <laughs> they they remember to stack they like good old gaming gladiators they are a a team which are gyro enjoyers they they love running carry gyro or support gyro more recently but carry gyro was their thing for 
quite a while. Is is Gyro just really good in pro because you can't really out position a Gyro because the, the AOE of Flat Cannon is so big. He's going to hit mm. you regardless of where you kind of position yourself. So with the other heroes, you can it, sort of kite them out. But if Gyro can see you, he's doing damage to you. Yeah, I think maybe with the changes of the meta, he's not as good anymore. But mm. when he used to be played as core, he he was good because yeah you you can just flat cannon everyone down and you just go for the timing you go on the farming timing buy six divine rapiers and everyone dies exactly Perfect. Yeah. but divine with the new change to divine which gives you spell amp as well mm. i think it's just made for gyro it is hell yeah. 100% hell for gyro yeah. like it it is cuz there's the good old uh, gyro meme of uh, the Hovost Gyrocopter. The OG Dota 2 players will know who Hovost is. He he used to be on Na'Vi, position one, back in 2013. Before and Yatoro did it. Before it was, Yatoro. This yeah. was the OG Yatoro. B1, and, before Yatoro. Yep. And he would buy <laughs> three Divines on Gyro and just run down and he would just kill everything so good with so good with the and i think it got me into dota good. was around then but yeah I, yeah. yeah still good yeah it is so so strong and i think divine has with the magic buffs since that was, Gyro, that buff can do all his other spells went it apart from the yep. flat cannon but then that gets buffed damage. by the damage because yeah. you get the divine damage so if you're lower rank, if you're lower MMR than Ali, which was your MMR? Four My, and a half? Well, I'm recalibrating at this <laughs> Ali's point. Ali's currently but... deliberately tanking his MMR to get easier. <laughs> Don't say Ali, this on the... Ali's, <laughs> le okay, no, Ali's learning Invoker I'm learning and Tinker Invoker. and Arc Warden in ranked at the moment while recalibrating. I, I have learnt from so... Dav on this <laughs> podcast that you should learn heroes in ranked. <laughs> I saw it on a stream. <laughs> <laughs> we're all getting lumps of coal next year we're getting lumps next of coal year, so for dead. learning heroes and ranked oh no but you've got a you've got a you've what lost two and won one so you've won one i'm i'm only three games in and we'll 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 get there but if you're lower mmr than than ali then you have to listen now if, yeah. you, if you listen to this to get better at dota which i'm sure loads of people are if yeah. you're playing gyro, you get three rapiers and you just go to the middle and you kill everyone. <laughs> you rush, maybe get an ags one. first. Rush <laughs> ags mm -hmm. no before you hit level two. Ags level one. Ags, <laughs> ags level one. Ags level one. <laughs> three divines go mid. Yeah, <laughs> crit BKB divines. There you go. Maybe a satanic in there as well. So but this this is build. carry gyro. You're that saying, is the you're carry saying gyro. Support gyro is the new hot thing so that all the, the hot all the fellas want. Yep. Guys want one thing and it's fucking disgusting. And in the last hero, <laughs> an <laughs> old retired man yep. who's built himself into a helicopter and <laughs> flings shit at people. That's what men want. That's the and male fantasy. You can tell that support gyro is actually doing so well because gyro has been played 1,400 times on high MMR games in the last eight days. And oh scrolling through most of it, all the carry ones are, have got L's, and oh, really? all the supports have got dubs. Well, you heard it from here. You heard it from Ali. It, Play gyro support. R yeah. Rush. There are a few cores. I will say there are a few cores which did get their wins, but it's mainly support who are mm. maxing rocket barrage and homing missile, which you got guaranteed a, a dub. So I guess you, get the, you definitely get the shard for that then. You're going on the, yep. the magic build. Yep. And what else with do you the get? New, new changes you can get. Uh, there's a lot of vessels. Um, so rushing urn, spirit vessel, uh, getting glimmer forces. Just general There's a couple items. of people who are experimenting with the new Veil of Discord. Mm. Um, oh yeah, true. That makes sense. And... Uh, Solar Crest, great item as well. Amazing item. So it, I, essentially all the standard it's just support standard items. Support items. I do like that with supports, it's all just the same items regardless of the support you're playing. 
Like I, I feel with the... carries, it's more varied, but support items, it's it's all kind of. Well, this patch, Solar Crest just got buffed, and now yeah. everyone's unchanged, and now everyone just buys Solar Crest in mm. every game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's cheap and great, and it's going to get nerfed soon. But I love it. It just it's, it, it used to be more uh, OP. <laughs> That's no, the funny thing. What really? We're on, yeah, it yeah, used to be self cast, e. and you got it used everything. To be even more broken. Uh, it used to be yeah. so broken that like cores would get it. That's how yep. bad it was, or how well, good it what was. I like, I do like because as a support, you buy a four staff or a glimmer or both probably mm. and wards, and then you can maybe buy like an ags or. Yeah. A shard if you don't get it from Tormento. And it is nice to have some new things. I guess Urn is one of them. Um, I, but Veil of this Discord is what I call. I would say getting an Ags on support gyro probably won't do you uh, too good. Because you're not building uh, damage. So it's not unless you're much, right? transitioning into becoming a core. Which, to be fair, at low MMR, definitely. I would, <laughs> I would get a full staff get your shard and then why not transition into a core more cores I do love that e equals a win i do you get like I, a triple kill yeah i feel within the scrub scene i honestly think if you pick a four that can turn into a, a core yeah you, you're gonna win the coordination's always so bad they they they, they, they the won't they won't get so your racks long. they yes. won't get your racks yeah, that, um, I love playing as Io with a gyro. I think oh, they're yeah. a ma match made in heaven. Oof. Yeah, it is a oh. match made. It's in a heaven, classic definitely. combo. It's like you get a nice speed boost. You get a nice attack speed boost. You and it's like to do having a real side gunner. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know, it's the animation I was missing. It's the model I'm missing is having a wisp for the little side gunner. Don't tether <laughs> me wisp until I have my eggs for the role play. And oh wait, shit when. When is it the shard that or the ags? No, it's the shard, right? That as as Io, when they attack, you attack. It's a twenty-five no, that talent. talent. Twenty-five, 25 talent. talent. So does that work with the? Yes, uh, it does work with flat cannon. But every, with flat cannon, every time Gyro attacks everyone, you attack everyone. Yes. What? Oh, sorry. What? That's in the I'm game. I'm pretty sure. What? I, I'm pretty sure. Dota loading up Dota. Oh my god! Because that's, that's why it is like a really good combo. Oh, I thought it was just that's for the amp. Hot. No, that's sexy. No, no, what? no. What? So you get? Oh, that's yeah. sick. It's really good. It's a, it's I one wanna... of those classic combos where you just where that happens, and if your IO has built a Deso or a Daedalus, that IO is going to shred. As oh, well can as we do that the tonight. Gyro. I want to do that tonight. I want to do IO <laughs> gyro. Uh. I could be keen for some gyro. Pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm testing it out now as well, gyro. Uploading in. What? Because they <laughs> might have patched it out secretly without us knowing. You never know. Who knows? Level to max. And same with gyro level to max. And I'm tethered now to the gyro. I'm testing it out. Mm. And I'm doing flat cannon. Yeah, it does it. Yeah, I it does it. So. Oh, I Jesus. It yeah, that's filthy. I had no idea. I guess... Any instant attack that's tethered, so any other heroes that has instant yeah, attack so spells. Yeah, so Medusa split shot Medusa. is also uh, very good. Medusa, very very good hero. God, Medusa you know and um, uh, Io are a good match. Yeah, well, Io wow. with anyone who can essentially split shot is extremely good because late game Io does just hit every hero with, without like if the io can build uh, some damage items afterwards it's a bonus what 100 and probably a couple of hundred damage per hit on every hero with the io hitting as well just people can't sustain that extra little bit not even bristleback not even bristle correct um, well, well, well done, Ali. You've made me want to play Gyro. Well, you've made well, me want to play Io. But let's... you made me want, want you to play Gyro. <laughs> and on that note, let's see how well we've all done with Gyro. Oh, ho, ho. oh. So, so we'll start with Dav, who has two games on the helicopter. <laughs> 50, 50 yeah. win rate, guaranteed it's 50%. I it is not. guaranteed 50% win rate. That's all hero it's challenge. Gone, Lost the first one, won the second, went the, on to the next hero. No, it's it wasn't. No, 
It was what? a one and done. And then you play it again? Dav played one <laughs> one hit game in 2021 with you, Joe. <laughs> oh no, I was in this game. Yeah, I don't know who else was in this game. It was a Dav Gyro Carry. I can't and a this. You Skywrath Mage. It was oh a single draft game. Stinks of yeah. This, this yeah, stinks this like low prior. Oh, remember. it's a low prior, and you got Arc Warden. As What's well. the date on it, Ali? September twenty one. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck yeah, it. Like, I bet. Yeah. I bet you. Ago. I there's probably a stream. Yeah, I there's, think it was. And they've got Arc Warden. Yeah, and P Flax is in it. Oh, is P Flax? Wait, what? P- Pyrian's uh, uh, Pudge. I think this game would have gone terribly. Oh, shit. Let's have a look. How much damage? Does it say damage? I don't think it does. GPM. My GPM, my gold per minute was 413. Very nice. And then, uh, yes, I- you played support, gyro, and won with it in your all-hero challenge. On to Joe. Okay. Joe has 31 games on gyro. I'm Feels like a lot that, more. I'm hoping <laughs> I've got above 50% win rate in my you mind have 45 <laughs> fuck me 45 45 yeah. percent. do i play That's it more bad. have i played it more support or more core cool? more core cool. okay well there's the problem yes you know what it is it's my support's not stacking for me as i'm playing yeah. core gyro that's that's the, that problem. Is that's true. the only reason i'm losing is my supports aren't stacking for me that is true because <laughs> if i'm on core i'm not playing support but you have won your last two games Oh, there we go. Which we back. did have an IO. Oh, there we go. In it's the, the game. It's the hidden, hidden trick. The hidden trick. It was the hidden trick. Okay. Well, I bet Ali has the most gyro games out of all of us and the highest win rate. I have 94 gyro games and a 52% win rate. There we so go. Yes. The champion. Hey, the hello. champion of gyro. I do like a gyro. Pretty good. Not too bad. Ali's the champion. Oh, do you know what, though? I'm not far off at my 50%. You're not far off. If you get one more win, if you play Jaren one more time and get one more win, you're going to be top dog, Dev. Yeah, I'll I'll do it. Tonight. It's also quite funny because I'm, like, clicking on my gyro games (laughs) and they're all from, like, if we need a win, we'll just (laughs) pick gyro. (laughs) Oh, you can just see what is it, just like a big L streak. Yeah, it's like an L streak. Big L streak and then, okay, I'll whip out the gyro. Yeah. Okay. If we must. your gyro. Um, <laughs> Apart from uh, my last game, I lost, but I'll blame my teammates because no, teammates. I blame my quop who was mid, Mr. Pyrian Flax. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Enough said. Enough said. Yeah, end it there. Yeah, we, we, Let's end it. I think I remember uh, that just game. Just me flaming him. <laughs> I think I remember enough that game. Said. All right, well, so... Gyro, he's old man. He, yeah, he, he's good. He's got good abilities. What do you reckon? Are you smashing or are you banning? Is he a map? I'm smashing that old man hard. Yeah, I'm going are in you, hard. I love Gyro. I'm smashing Eggman. Smashing yeah. Eggman. Smash the Eggman. I'm without a doubt. Matching also. Yeah, without a love doubt. him. Even love playing with, with him. My negative win rate. I'm still smashing Gyro. That's how funny he is. He's also just a fun carry. That's the thing. There's, it's very weird that there's a carry that's fun. I don't yeah. think there are many. I think Spectre maybe is kind of fun, but not really. Uh, Sven, not really. No. There are no fun carries. Jar is the only one. Ursa's quite fun. I enjoy Ursa. I've not played Ursa, to be fair. Might yeah, need to. Wow, that, that's the first time I think we've had a full straight, full-on smash of a hero. Yeah. Just fun to play, fun to play with, fun to watch. Yeah, everyone all loves around, a but also not like annoying enough that, like you said at the start, not annoying enough that, you, like, oh, you, you're never annoyed that there's a gyro yeah. in the game. No, regardless. it's like, oh, okay, there's a gyro, it's fine, lads. Thank you, and thanks for thanks for everyone for listening. If you made it this far, thank you. Um, I, I guess that's that's us done. Yeah. And next, well, week- we've got one other thing that was promised in the last ten seconds of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, so as we wrap it up, I'm just going to end over. Speak to you later. Peace out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>